In this guitar lesson, I will show you how you can play Soldier's Poem by Muse. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor and on this channel we are all about guitar song lessons by request, getting you playing your favourite songs as quickly as possible with on-screen chord boxes, tabs, rhythm slashes, strumming patterns, the whole works. So if you're new to the channel you might want to consider subscribing! Today's viewer request comes courtesy of Andrew GG, he was after some Muse. Um, so I had a little listen to Muse's back catalogue because I do love them. And this one from their Black Holes and Revelations album really stood out to me as a nice little picking tune uh, with some beautiful sounding chord progressions so I figured I'd transcribe it and bring it to you today. 500 likes on the video will unlock the tabs from my website so you know what to do if you're enjoying it. So let's take a zoom in on the neck and I'll take you through the song. So this song has us in 6-8, that's 6 eighth notes to a measure, a count of 6 one, two, three, four, five, six, of course. We tend to think of the notes in groupings of three, so we go one and a two and a 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 one and a two and a... The thumb will grab the bass notes on this five or four or six, and then I have index, middle and ring finger doing the rest of the work. So the first pattern on the A chord... That's your first pattern, so it's thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index. So I start on that A chord, then I'm going to thumb the E string. I have an alternating bass, and that's the intro part. Then at 15 seconds, what I'm terming verse 1, we go starting on the A. Grab that E bass and come to an E7 with a pinky on string number two, and we pick six, four, three, two, three, four, and then change the bass note in the second time to the fifth string. So alternating six and five on that E7. So at 22 seconds, we go to a D chord shape over an A bass note, and we pick five, four, and then we go to this, here's a D minor chord shape, D minor triad, again over the A bass, so it's D over A, D minor over A, A, and then we go to this grip, C sharp seven, but in this in this C shape, over the G bass note. Six, four, three, two, three, four. Going to an F sharp minor. Six, four, three, two. And then we again alternate the bass from string six to five. Six five to B minor. And again the bass note's alternating. So it's string six. Sorry, string five, and then to string six. 36 seconds, we continue B minor. And we go to this kind of grip. F sharp seven, back to B minor. And then D over A again. 42 seconds, E chord. Alternating the bass. Putting that verse all together, then we get this. Carry on. 
And at 49 seconds, you could say verse 2, the progression is the same. Um, but if you look to the last line when we hit the E's, we have um, just an E chord. And then the, a, the E7 hits on the end. As we go into chorus at 124, we have A, F sharp minor, E sus4, to a variation on the E7, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, up to the D, bass A, D. This chord, D minor with a sharp five to E seven again. And then the tune closes out on the A chord. Strum the A on the end. So watching the hands, let's put that chorus part all together. So there you are guys, that was the tune. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, do not forget to give me a nice thumbs up. Subscribe for more by clicking on my head. More details from my website. Here are a couple more tunes for you to check out. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye.